Legendary TV and radio host Larry King has died at the age of 87. He passed away this morning at Cedar Sinai Medical Center. No cause of death was given, but King had been hospitalized with COVID-19. KCON 9's Chris Martinez has a look back at King's long-running broadcast career. Larry King and his iconic suspenders were a fixture on nightly television for a quarter of a century. He interviewed more than 30,000 people on his CNN show, Larry King Live. Do you ever think about being first father? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> his guests included presidents, would-be presidents, international leaders, and celebrities. What are you first? Well Oh, do I have to label myself? King was born Lawrence Harvey Zeiger in Brooklyn in 1933. His first job in radio was cleaning up a station in Miami Beach. When one of the announcers abruptly quit, King was put on the air. In the years that followed, he moved to television, then back to radio, where he gained notoriety as the host of an all-night nationwide call-in radio program, The Larry King Show. He'll be here all tonight to explain it all. We'll take emails and phone calls as well. In 1985, King jumped to CNN with his own nightly interview show. That's where he stayed for 25 years. His style was direct, but not confrontational, making him popular among controversial guests. I listened to answers, asked short questions, left my ego at the door, and I had a motto through my whole career, is that I never learned anything when I was talking. In 2012, he co-founded internet streaming service Aura TV. Here, he picked up the interviewing mantle again with his show, Larry King Now. Anything you can tell us about Star Wars 8? That it happens. That happens. That it happens. <laughs> King was married eight times to seven women and had five children. He wrote two books about living with heart disease after suffering a major heart attack in 1987. Over the course of his career, King won two Peabody Awards for excellence, one in radio and one in television, as well as 10 Cable Ace Awards. In 2011, he received an Emmy for a lifetime of achievement. Chris Martinez, Los Angeles.